afternoon, almost good evening. Um, we're on our way home today. Last night was rough for me. I don't know if my body was just like, you're doing too much and it just like shut down. Or if maybe I had like sun poisoning or I don't really know. It was really bad last night. I feel like I could barely function last night like at all. So I didn't finish filming. We left the park at like, I want to say like two. Yeah. It was really early. Everyone was just exhausted. I said like the next big Disney trip that I plan like this in years to come, we'll do like first day a park, second day a park, then we'll have a rest day. We'll do the third park on the fifth day. Then we'll have another rest day and then we'll do the fourth park on the seventh day because I feel like only having one rest day when you're literally being on your feet for longer. I mean, we got to the park at like 8 a.m. And like that one night we were there till, midnight. or two nights we were there. Till almost midnight. Right. Yeah. Like, well, we went to, the day we went to Magic Kingdom was at like 11 o'clock. Yeah. Like when we got back from Epcot, it was like 10 or 11. Then when we went to, on Tuesday, we were out till like midnight because we went to be our guests at 9.20 was our reservation. So we were out till midnight. And then of course, Monday was the first day. So you stay out. Actually, no, Monday, we had a pretty short day because they still had the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Yeah, but and we, we went to, where did we go? No. After, did we call it quits at seven? Yeah, and we, we got home with, and we hung out with Michael. Oh, that's right. So, we would have been out the park longer, but it closed at 6 for that. So, two of the night, two of the days, I mean, we stood, stayed out to like 11. So, that fourth day in Animal Kingdom. Uh-oh. Her TV show probably turned off. <clears throat> Anyways, the fourth day in the parks, so the fifth day, but the fourth day in the parks, my shins hurt so bad. Everyone's feet was hurting. My mom's back was hurting. Everyone was just exhausted. So we decided to leave early. And then we went to the pool. And then I just started feeling sick. So we decided to actually drive all the way home today. Because we just have stuff we have to do tomorrow before Marisa goes back to work on Monday. So originally our plan was to drive back from Orlando to Jacksonville on Saturday, which is today, and then tomorrow drive from Jacksonville back home, but we couldn't do that because Marisa needs to do something for work, so we're just driving all the way home today, which I'm actually kind of happy we are because even though I'm feeling a lot better now than I was yesterday, guys, yesterday was terrible. I've never had the shivers like I did yesterday. I don't think we were seeing down the dumps like that. Like, I couldn't even function as a human anymore. Like, I was like... And I, my body just stopped me. It just, I just, it was like, you're going to sleep. Like, you just have to stop. So, that's why I didn't end the vlog. But anyways, we're like one hour and 58 minutes from home still. Which feels like such a long time. I'm excited to see the doggos though. I bet they missed us. I'm very excited to see the doggos. Oh, yeah. and my sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Which ride? It... Was... I want to say rock and roller. Yeah, it was rock and roller. Yeah. And I almost lost my camera on... Rock and roller. Was it rock and roller? Yeah. No. No, it was Spaceship Earth. Wasn't it? No. It was a new one in Epcot. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. I literally couldn't even enjoy that ride because they had those little pockets in their rides that don't trust those pockets. I put my camera in, in there and within like five seconds of being on that ride, I saw my camera and my phone falling out of that pocket. And I was like, this has literally our entire trip on this camera. Like I cannot lose this camera. I would have made them just turn off the ride and turn on the lights and make me find the camera, at least having the SD card or the memory card. But yeah, don't, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, but we're almost home. And I can't wait to sleep in our bed tonight. We have like, they're not clean sheets, but they are technically clean. Yeah. 
because I washed them like a couple days before we left, so they're not going to be like brushy clean, but they're definitely not going to get washed tonight. Yeah. But they'll still be nice to sleep in, and I bet Lily Bucks is going to be excited to sleep in her bed again, even though she slept really good at the Airbnb or Burbo, whatever. And now she has to make up her schoolwork for the whole week, and then we literally come back to Jacksonville next weekend for yep. Lilia's surgery. So we only have like five days. No, we have the week. No, so we have Sunday. So we have like six days to like yep. recover mentally and physically before we are in the hospital for six days technically. Or five days. Well, no, is that is five days including the surgery day? I think so. I don't know, but that's gonna be rough too. But I will see you guys when we go. if they're mad at us or if they're happy because they've been mad at me before for leaving mm -hmm. so they may be mad they may be happy i think they're gonna be a little bit mixed of both i think so i think they're gonna be excited and then later on tonight they're gonna be like <laughs> yeah. but we will see i just know that i don't want to do anything for the rest of the night nope <laughs> <laughs> hey, lilia agrees she's like i just want to run around with my toys guys Dixie, Harley, <gasps> hi babies. Oh goodness, move, hi. Let me move this. Oh my goodness, hi. Hi, okay, I'm moving it, I'm moving it, hi. Hi Dixie, come here, hi. Oh, <laughs> come here. Are you so excited? Oh man, be careful. Come on, let's go inside. Dixie, be careful. Harley. <laughs> oh, shit. Hi, guys. Be careful. <laughs> okay. I know they're so excited. Oh, my gosh. You're so excited. Oh, my gosh. You're so excited. <laughs> He's still floating. Barely. I wonder if the other one's still floating. <laughs> Probably. Wow, you guys so excited? Dixie, <gasps> come here, baby. Hi. Why? Why? What I have to do this. Now that that's done, it's time to relax. We have been home for a couple of days. As you can tell, I still sound kind of congested, but I honestly feel so much better than what I did the last two days. Um, I'm glad I'm like on the up and up. Today is Tuesday. We got home Saturday, like evening. So it took me like, I don't know, two days to get better. Um, actually Friday, the day that we were in the park it wasn't until we got home from the park and actually like settled down for the night that i started to feel like the shivers take over my body and that was the worst part for me and the other part was fine i was just wanted to sleep like my body just wanted me to sleep so i think just like pure exhaustion is just 
is a big reason I got super sick. I don't think I would have gotten that sick if my body was like, you know, well rested and super hydrated and stuff. But because I was in the sun and, you know, it's hard to keep up with hydration and I was tired and my feet hurt and all this type of stuff. I just was like super down. But luckily I'm on the up and up. Mauricio feels fine. Luna feels fine. My mom doesn't feel the best. Um, but she says she's feeling like a little bit better today. And then um, Lilia is a little feverish, but not too bad. We are still in the clear to have to have her have surgery. Um, the doctor was like, I don't really care if she tests positive for literally anything at this point. You know, you know guys know what I'm talking about. Um, as long as they don't have any symptoms of congestion, which I do, so hopefully she does it. I, I can already tell she's gonna kind of have it, but she still has seven days to clear of that. And worst comes to worst, we just have to leave Monday instead of any other day if she's still feeling pretty bad. But luckily, so far, me and Lilia and my mom are the only ones that are like sick. But hopefully, Lilia gets it the easiest. Um, you know, she's a baby, so they're pretty resilient. So hopefully she just gets to sleep it off. Hopefully she has a really good nap. I just laid her down for a nap. And hopefully when she wakes up, she feels a little bit better. She was just kind of groggy and tired. But other than that, she's been fine. She doesn't really sound super congested, just like a little, like a hint every now and then when she uses her voice. But we'll see. I'm about to take my first shower in like four days. I've taken showers to like help my body calm down, like, you know, relax and stuff but i haven't actually washed my hair in almost uh, a week so my hair is literally gross so i need to fix this oh my god it's so gross while lilia is down for her nap so i'm gonna do that real quick that easily had to be one of the best showers of my entire life <clears throat> I noticed that I sound a lot more congested than I actually am and I almost feel like the congestion is more allergy related because we weren't here for seven days almost eight days so that's how many days it went in our house without anyone vacuuming or brushing the dogs or anything like that so it could also be that this house is just filled with like dog hair and my body is like whoa this is all too much um but anyways i feel literally amazing i feel like a brand new woman i'm trying not to unpack too much because as of right now lilia is still clear to have surgery um next tuesday so today's tuesday so seven days from today um, so that's pretty exciting and crazy too, um, but yeah, now for the rest of her nap, I'm just gonna, I think, relax because I don't want to push myself too much and like get like overworked, but, um, I think I'm just gonna watch some catfish on tv look how much hair i'm losing um, and just kind of hang out chug some water i might even actually drink a liquid iv and i think tomorrow i will be back to you know full full amanda mode because today i'm almost there just i feel like i just need like one more good night's sleep to kind of like finish kicking whatever this is in the booty. So, now, like I said, I'm losing so much hair. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video right here. Um, and I will start opening up the vlogs again um, when we are starting to get ready to leave for her surgery. Uh, so probably the, probably the, the day that we're gonna leave right now, was probably Saturday, um, but I can't guarantee that right now. Like I told my sister, like, I may be there Saturday, but, you know, we have all the way up until Monday to get there. So we have like a good bit of kind of leeway time. 
before we had to go so that's great um but yeah so i am glad i know this sounds really bad but i am happy that lilia started to feel sick today or technically yesterday she had a fever um today she's starting to actually catch up that fever's catching up to her um but i'm happy she has it today so then she has like you know hopefully it's over by like thursday for her because she's young but i'm glad she got it now instead of like you know sunday and then i would have actually had to reschedule her surgery which would have sucked so i am gonna go ahead and end this vlog and i hope you guys enjoyed all the disney vlogs um i feel like all vacation videos kind of end with someone getting a sickness but you know i think it's just because like me and my friend said this actually too and it really like this is the first vacation that i've been on or on a trip since i've since this pandemic has happened that i've taken a mask off so in theory like of course you're going to get sick because your everyone's immune systems right now are probably so weak because we've been masking up no one's been exposed to germs nobody's been you know building up immune systems very much for the past couple of years so this was like the first trip where my body was like whoa there's a lot of germs here we need to like get back in the groove so hopefully this is like a one and done kind of thing um but yeah anyways i am going to end this vlog for real this time and just enjoy some uh time while the baby naps i love you guys we'll see you guys in the next one bye guys and we can be so much more